Dear students, welcome to the video class. As you all know that in the previous class we have learnt about agriculture, crop, the types of crops based on season. In today's class let us learn more about basic practices of crop production. Cultivation of crops involves several activities undertaken by farmer over a period of time. You may find that these activities are similar to those carried out by a gardener or even by you when you grow ornamental plants in your house. These activities itself are referred to as agricultural practices. As you can see in this picture, the various agricultural practices. This is not new. You have seen this many a times. You might have got involved with this many a times with your parents and family members. The activities involved in agricultural practices are first Preparation of soil. Second, sowing. Adding manure and fertilizers. Irrigation. Protecting from weeds. Harvesting. And storage. In today's video, we are learning in detail about the first two practices. That is, Preparation of soil and sowing. How, a palm, how does a farmer prepare his field for sowing of crop? Preparation of soil and sowing. Let us learn in detail about these two processes in today's class. What do you see in this picture? Observe the picture carefully. Here, the farmer is loosening the soil, isn't it? This is the first step in preparation of soil. The preparation of soil, as you all know, is the first step before growing of a crop. One of the most important tasks in agriculture is to turn the soil and loosen it. This allows the roots to penetrate deep. As you can see, the soil is getting loose and as the crops grow, it allows the roots to penetrate, go deep into the soil. The loose soil allows the roots to breathe easily even when they go deep into the soil. The loosened soil also helps in the growth of earthworm and microbes present in the soil. Since the soil is well aerated, microbes grow well. Earthworm, a friend of farmer, can grow and flourish well in the loosened soil. These soil organisms, as you can see in this picture, these soil organisms are friends of the farmer. Since they further turn and loosen the soil. See again they are going deep into the soil and further they are loosening the soil. And also they eat away the earthworms and other microbes eat away the dried dead leaves, fallen leaves and further add humus to the soil. You have learnt in the previous class that soil contains minerals, water and some living organisms. Dead plants and animals get decomposed by soil organisms. Various nutrients in the dead organisms are released back into the soil. These nutrients are absorbed by the plants.
see here in this picture, you can observe how earth mom is converting the dead leaves or dried leaves into the humus and it is also loosening the soil since it is going into the soil and moving, dwelling in the soil, it is helping in loosening of soil. Now, the very important process followed in preparation of soil is tilling and plowing. Tilling and plowing is an important process of loosening and turning of soil. It is done by using the plow. As you can see here, a picture of farmer carrying a plow. So this instrument is called as plow. So plowing is done by using the implement or thing instrument called plow. Plows are made of wood or iron. If the soil is very dry, it may need watering before plowing. Sometimes when you are plowing, you need to apply, you need to add water to the soil so that the soil get loosened well and it will be easy in plowing. You can see in this picture, the farmer is carrying the activity of plowing. The plowed field may have big crumbs of soil. It is necessary to break these crumbs. After plowing, leveling the field is beneficial for sowing as well as for irrigation. In this picture, you can see the farmer has already plowed the soil. Now he is leveling the soil by using the leveler and also with the helper. It can also be done manually or it can also be done by using animals and it can also be done by using the cultivator. Here you can see all the three types of levering. Manually it can be done by using traditional leveler. Here mechanical leveler by using the tractor. Here leveler plus cultivator tied together. This is the process of leveling. The field is leveled for sowing as well as for irrigation purpose. The leveling is done by using the leveler. Sometimes manure is added to the soil before tilling. The soil is watered before sowing. Let us move on for the next agricultural implements. Let us learn more about some of the important agricultural implements that is used in the first step preparation of soil. Can you identify this? Yes, this is the plow. One of the important agriculture implement. Before sowing the seeds, it is necessary to break soil clumps to get better yield. This is done by using various tools. So the main tools here used are plow, hoe and the cultivator. Let us learn more about plow. This is being used ancient times, since ancient times for tilling the soil, adding fertilizers to the crop, removing the weeds and also for turning the soil. This implement is made of wood. As you can see here, it is made of wood and is also drawn by a pair of bull or other animals like horse or camel. It contains a strong rectangular iron strip. Observe here, see the cursor. I am moving the cursor. It consists of iron strip. It is triangular in shape. Strong triangular shaped iron strip. This is called as plow share. You need to label this children. So this part is called as plow share. And the main part here you can observe the long wooden 
wood part is called as flow shaft. There is a handle at one end of the shaft. Shaft. The other end is attached to the beam which is placed on the bull's neck. So here there will be one um, handle that is placed on bull's neck. One pair of bull and a man can easily operate the flow as you have seen in the previous picture. Next is hoe. This is another implement. It is a simple tool which is used for removing the weeds and also for loosening the soil. Many of you might have used this. It has a long rod of wood or iron. See here there is a rod. It can be made of wood or iron. A strong broad bent plate. You can observe here this is the bent plate of iron and is fixed to one of its ends and it is called as a blade. This is pulled by the animals. The next implement is the cultivator. Nowadays, plowing is done by tractor driven cultivator. The use of cultivator saves labor and time. This is the picture of cultivator. This is tied to the tractor and this is driven using a tractor. This is called as cultivator. So all these three that is plow, hoe and cultivator are the common implements that is used in preparation of soil. The next, this is again one more implement that is hoe. It is used to loosen the soil. What do you see here? Yes, this process is sowing of seeds. Seeds are sown into the soil. Dear children, as you all know that sowing is an important part of crop production. Without sowing, there will be no fruit. Yes, sowing is very important part in crop production. So before sowing, good quality, clean and healthy seeds of good variety must be selected. Farmers usually prefer to use seeds which give high yield. Now, let us See, this is again one more process, uh, the picture showing sowing of seeds. As you all know that seeds must be of good quality. Now, how do you uh, come to know that which seed is good, which type of seeds is good? So, here is a simple activity. You can carry this activity at home. Collect some seeds of any uh, pulses or wheat. Take a glass of water and put the seeds into the water. If you, uh, you may observe uh, good quality seeds that has settled down and some of the seeds floating on water. So why are they floating? You all know that hollow things is filled with air and it comes up and it floats. And heavy things which is not filled with air settles down. By this simple activity, what do you infer children? Which are good here? It's already given in the picture, right? So, the seeds which are settled down are good quality seeds. The seeds which are floating on the surface of water is bad. Because they are empty, they are filled with air, hollow. Please try this activity at home. Take a handful of any seeds which are that is available at home and try the simple activity and send me your inference. Now, let us move on for the next. Already we have seen in uh, preparation of soil the three important tools used are plow, hoe and cultivator. Right. Now, let us see the tools used for sowing. There are two types of tools. 
one is traditional tool and the next is seed drill let us learn one by one here you can observe in this picture the farmer is using a tool to sow the seeds what is the shape of this tool it is funnel shape isn't it and there is a bent pipe like structure and by using these uh, tool the farmer is sowing the seeds the tool used traditionally for sowing seeds is shaped like a funnel the seeds are filled into the funnel passed down through two or three pipes having sharp ends these ends go deep pierce go deep into the soil and place the seeds there so this is the traditional tool traditionally this tool was used by the farmers to sow the seeds now what is this this is the new modern tool to sow the seeds so the name of this tool is seed drill nowadays the seed drills is used for sowing with the help of tractors you might you can easily find in the picture the seed drills is tied to the tractor this sows the seeds uniformly at equal distance and depth we can see even the pipes are uniformly framed and it goes deep into the soil and also helps there is a um, exact distance between each pipe here you can observe there is a exact distance and this seed drills help in sowing the seeds uniformly at equal distance and depth it also ensures that seeds get covered by soil after sowing since it, the pipes are going deep into the soil it also ensures that the seeds are covered by the soil as it is moving on for the forward the seeds it moves in such a way and it works in such a way that the seeds are covered by the soil this process protects seeds from being eaten by birds you know that if the seeds are exposed in the agriculture field the birds might eat it so there will be a loss for the farmer so if you are using this seed drills as you have seen in this previous picture if you are using the seed drills the seeds go deep into the soil and it also helps in covering the seeds with the soil therefore the birds cannot see it and the birds cannot eat it sowing by using seed drills also saves time and labor if a farmer single farmer is uh, sowing the seeds by using the traditional tool it will take long time but on the same side if he is using the seed drills it will be better for the farmer because it will take less time it will save time and also saves the labor appropriate distance between the seeds is always necessary whenever sowing process is going on we must see to it that there is a appropriate distance between the seeds if it is not there if the distance is not there then the crop will be overcrowded the, uh, there will be overcrowding of plant so if there is overcrowding of plant the plants cannot get proper nutrients sufficient sunlight and water from the soil at times a few plants may have to be removed to prevent overcrowding see these two pictures what do you observe here there is appropriate distance between the seeds i am moving the cursor you can see there is a appropriate distance so if this distance is maintained the seeds will get a uh, proper sufficient sunlight nutrient and water from the soil if it is just hand sowing if it is thrown the seeds are thrown by hand some in some places the seeds will be more in some places the seeds will be less so wherever the seeds are more then the plants will get overcrowded so this is example of soya bean uh, seeds which are overcrowded here so which is better yeah we'll go for this one this is better because there is appropriate distance between the seeds 
all these things concept you must keep in mind when you are carrying the forming process nutrients and water from the soil if you are maintaining proper distance between the seeds they get proper nutrients and water from the soil hand sowing that's it for now children today we have learnt about two important process in agriculture the first one is preparation of soil second is sowing of seeds now it's time to take some homework questions explain the various activities involved in preparation of soil just now we have learnt about preparation of soil so when the farmer is preparing the soil to sow the crops what are the various activities he carries on various procedures or activities he carries to prepare the soil this you must explain and write in your own words second question very interesting question have you planted any sapling seed or a plant since last one year in your school or house garden if yes share your experience or activities about it if you have planted any plant or sapling or seeds if you have carried any kitchen gardening at home now since it is it was a lockdown period if you have done any good work like this please share your experience with us third question is which is the best method of sowing you can see here two methods are there observe this picture and observe this picture so both are the methods of sowing of seeds which is the best one and why explain it thank you have a nice day